remember when you said it doesn't get better than this. Only a fool to let you go. You got into my head. Am I about to lose myself? When will all of this fade away? Mercedes Benz EQE 2023 review: An expensive electric car. The 402 horsepower EQE 500 is fast enough, but you have to sacrifice speed in comparison. The Mercedes-Benz EQE sedan is a polarizing figure in the modern electric car market. From its forward-facing cabin to its technology-laden cabin, the EQE doesn't hide its electrification credentials, looking more like a space capsule than the E-Class with which it is nominally associated. However, there's a lot more to this mid-size Mercedes EV electric car than meets the eye. With a dual-motor powertrain pumping out 402 horsepower and 633 pound-feet of torque, the 2023 EQE 500 has plenty of power and great style, however, I couldn't help but be enthralled by its insistent futurism, with its speed racers four-wheel steering and synthwave interior lighting. Which keeps things interesting when the off-the-line push starts to get boring. Like its EQS sibling, the EQE sedan proudly adopts Mercedes' one bow stylistic language for electric cars. The low front and beefy tail are connected by a single brush stroke, the 59.5-inch roofline peaking just behind the driver to give the car a slightly rearward-leaning position. Unlike the EQS which has headlamps, the EQE uses separate headlamps and bracket-shaped daytime running lights which give it a bit of glamour. At the rear, the full-width taillight panel has circular lighting elements, like light bulbs. What's out of debate is how awesome the AMG line's aero wheels are. Ripped with billions of little Mercedes stars, these wheels are 20 inches wide and give the EQE 500 some excellent rolling stock. It doesn't get better than this Only a fool to let you go You got into my head Am I about to Inside, the EQE doesn't offer the MBUX hyperscreen but the wood trim that appears on the dashboard is a fitting substitute. The upper dash and form-fitting window sills around the interior dive sharply, looking sharp and modern, and the minimalist AMG sport seats fit perfectly with the spaceship vibe. However, there are some gaps in the armor, the door pulls are common touch points, of course they are made of plastic that looks like aluminum, and the high dashboard hampers visibility due to the swooping front. Otherwise, the cabin EQE hits just the right notes. Bombastic acceleration aside, the EQE 500 is a surprisingly gentle car to ride around town, as adaptive dampers are standard, and they do well in the gentlest of settings to even out bumps on bad pavement. The low 0.22 drag coefficient and door-mounted mirrors cut down on drafts, and despite the EQE of the frameless windows, there isn't much road noise. The aforementioned front seats offer a good amount of adjustment and are padded enough to be comfortable for long stints, and there's enough room for the driver and front passenger to get enough comfort. 
Unfortunately, the rear seats aren't all that accommodating. The high floor required by the 90.6 kWh battery takes up legroom and forces a slightly awkward, thigh-raised seating position. I had the same problem on the EQS, and it was slightly worse on the smaller EQE. However, unless you frequently have front seat passengers who need constant entertainment, you won't miss the glass panels that span across the dashboard. The 12.8-inch touchscreen gives me more than enough digital space, and as an added bonus, it's not partially obscured by the steering wheel as is the case with the hyperscreen's larger center screen. One of the options it brings is enhanced ambient lighting, a feature of the $850 exclusive trim package that also includes augmented reality navigation. Pushing a combined 402 horsepower and 633 pound-feet from a pair of electric motors, no subscription, the Mercedes-Benz EQE 500 is a staggering sensation in a straight line. A sprint of 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, in 4.5 seconds doesn't sound all that impressive in the world of the Kia's 3.3 seconds, but Mercedes provided a gentle push from a stop to maintain control. Once up and running, the dual motors provide immense power, and the uphill acceleration is far more ferocious than any Mercedes not wearing the AMG badge. While the regenerative braking system is strong, bringing the car to a stop effortlessly, the brake pedal itself is hard to modulate, and harsh panic braking doesn't feel as strong as it should with the power it has. Blame it on its 5,424-pound curb weight and all-season tires. The two plotters reappeared in tight corners, where EQE released its grip on the front quicker than I would have liked. At least at lower speeds, it turns corners fairly well, thanks in part to the standard 10-degree rear axle steering. As usual, Mercedes-Benz charges extra for its acclaimed Level 2 Active Assist and Safety Features package. While active lane derailment prevention is standard, my tester's driver assistance package was the only way to get adaptive cruise control, active lane change, and stop-and-go functionality. The single-engined Mercedes-Benz EQE 350 Plus with 288 horsepower is priced starting at $76,050, but getting the EQE 500 requires a minimum investment of $87,050. My tester brought in an additional $11,300 for options, the biggest tickets being the $2,100 AMG Line interior and $2,200 AMG Line exterior, as well as $1,600 for the black microfiber headliner. 
However, even if you hold yourself back with the options, the Mercedes-Benz EQE is still a very expensive vehicle when you can get the faster, faster charging BMW i4 M50 with all available options for $84,370. So I just had to write this song I don't want to see you cry again a fully loaded Tesla Model 3 performance is still cheaper at $71,240 including the coveted full self-driving option, or, for about the same price as the EQE iDrive, I could also buy the wider Tesla Model S, which has the range at least 375 miles and can reach a speed of 60 in 3.1 seconds. The 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQE 500 sedan does several things very well, it will wow onlookers who watch its rear wheels spin around the parking lot, and its sleekly refined cabin transforms into a Miami nightclub at sunset thanks to the ambient lighting. It's also quiet and refined, and its styling broadcasts its EV pretensions to the world. To me, this midsize EV is at least $10,000 too expensive to be a smart buy, so thankfully there are some intangibles to help offset that. <laughs>